You don't need to know the language to know the director is demanding more from his timid young actress. It's just one scene in one movie filmed at one studio that happens to be the largest one in the world. By any standards, Hungdian Studio City is huge, dwarfing the combined size of Hollywood's Universal and Paramount Studios. This movie is called A Merry Journey to the Tang Dynasty. It's an important role for the actress, eager to become a household name. And art movies, the one place dreams can come true. We went to the source, Song Shangqing, the president of Hungdian World Studios. Hangdian Studio Cities has to be seen to be believed. In Zhangjiang Province, it's about a four-hour drive south of Shanghai, and it's all the brainchild of businessman Shu Wenrong, who had the passion and vision to start Hangdian more than two decades ago, at a time when operating private companies in China was almost unheard of. Uh, 谢晋导演就造了第一个拍摄基地,从此以后就可以走上了中国的电影拍摄基地的这么一个领域。And in the two plus decades, just look at the growth. It is massive. In many ways, it mirrors the meteoric rise of China's film industry, which is now more than a six and a half billion dollar business a year. And the crown jewel in Hungdian, this incredible replica of the Forbidden City. In a short period, we can hop from the Ming Dynasty to the Forbidden City, and then into the heart of Shanghai in the 1930s, with China's military taking on invading Japanese troops. But don't let the replicas of history fool you. The latest in filmmaking technology can be seen on every lot. The Day Glow athletic outfit is quickly covered by something a little more fitting for a leader from the ancient Ming dynasty. Wen is wearing two hats in the production of The Legend of Long Feng Dian, actor and producer. He has a lot to worry about in front of the camera and behind the scenes. But Wen says the versatility of Hung Dian makes the juggling act doable. Hung Dian offers something to all filmmakers that is simply unheard of anywhere else. Free use of the array of sets. Yes, free. This is just one of some 270 movies that will be shot on this site this year. Since Hung Dian opened its doors, more than 2,000 films have been made here. 
And the company makes money, lots of it. The conglomerate is worth billions. It rakes in cash in part by renting cameras, lights, costumes and such to the crews. Out of necessity, since Studio City is located in a rural area that right now is off the beaten path. There is no question Hungbian has changed the landscape of this rural setting. Tourism here is a huge moneymaker. Today, Hung Dian is part studio, part showcase. Uh, and they pour in. For years, buses have been ferrying tourists to the sprawling facility, lured by the chance to witness movie magic up close as well as Chinese history. <laughs> it's pageantry and parades that keep the mobile phones clicking and the guests busy. And who doesn't want to see a shining star? At night, the pedestrian area in Hangdian takes on the feeling of a street fair. There's always one more way to keep the tourist entertained here throughout the day. It's hard to believe that just 20 years ago, Hangdian was a small village. Today, it is a bustling town of close to 200,000 people. And as the studio plans its expansion, the town will grow more. There are plans to bring an airport and a high-speed rail station through this region. As the sprawl takes hold of the village, many young actors and actresses with stars in their eyes flock here. But to the townspeople, the studio means a better quality of life. In Hollywood, the days of the big lots are long gone, largely replaced by computer-generated graphics and green screens. But Hong Dian proves there is something still magical that draws tourists and actors to these sets. 就是我个人来说, and it is tough to put a price tag on making dreams come true.